Day. This is Dave from the Shepherd School, and we're going to talk about uh, uh, Kydex a little bit, and specifically some poor man's Kydex. On the table, you see a bunch of kitchen knives, and you see some pretty ugly homemade uh, sheaths. Something I've always wanted to do is learn to form Kydex. Kydex is just a, a proprietary name of a uh, thermoplastic blend that you can buy in sheets is about a uh, generally about a foot by two foot. It's going to run you about you know twenty dollars or so. Well, uh, uh, you heat it up, put it in the oven, or use a heat gun, and it becomes flexible, and then you can mold it. Now, being a non-handy type of guy that uh, that tries to experiment a little bit, I don't want to waste a lot of money and buy some Kydex until I know what I'm doing. So I did a little bit of research on the internet and I found that sometimes you can use other thermoplastics. Now it's important that you're careful what you use because some stuff like uh, PVC, you can heat it and mold it, but the fumes have uh, toxins in them and can cause you permanent damage. But I have found that milk jugs work pretty good as well as uh, jugs from dishwasher detergent. Now, whichever plastic that you use, you want to make sure that you do it in a well-ventilated area. And if it's off-gassing or put off any fumes, stop, quit heating it, and get rid of it. Uh, but anyway, before we get into how to, let me just show you some of these knife sheaths. Now, these are my very first attempt, and uh, I used a heat gun, which I'm not really used to using either, so they're a little ugly. My best one... pretty smooth. My best one, this was a uh, uh, dishwashing detergent bottle. And because it's thicker, it was a lot easier to heat until it became soft. These milk jugs, they form pretty good. But because they're thinner, you couldn't put these in an oven. You'd have to use a heat gun. And what I did is I just heated them up until they were clear and then folded them around. Uh, both the milk jugs and the uh, soap cans, I was able to basically weld them. Heat them up enough where I was able to mash the plastic together and form it together so I didn't have to use uh, rivets like you would with Kydex. But because they were thinner, and they're kind of DIY, you know, uh, alternatives. They didn't come off as smooth as a as a formal Kydex sheath. Okay, we're going to do some more of that uh, DIY poor man's Kydex with a milk jug. We'll start with. Trying to cut this. Oh, trying to cut this where I maximize the flat portions without cutting my hand off with the shears because I'm in a hurry trying to save tape. Okay, got a flat piece, got the knife. Like I said, we've already made us some, some Kydex holsters, so we're just going to kind of show you the, uh, the process, okay? If this was for real, obviously I would make the, uh, the piece of Kydex bigger, but we're just kind of showing you what we're doing. Take the heat going. Unfortunately, this heat gun, if I put it up on high, it has a tendency to flip the breaker down here in the workbench. And I'm wanting to heat it evenly. A toaster oven would be a pretty good uh, thing to use for Kydex, but I don't know how it would work with a milk jug since they're so thin. Just 
fold that over. And you want to leave a little bit on your, your actual grip. And then you just shut your mold up, put a weight on it or whatever. Which luckily, got a bunch of uh, Lee 12 gauge slugs that I cast the other day. So we're going to let that sit and cool and then we'll pull it out. Now with the milk jug, because we uh, use the heat gun, we may have to um, heat, spot heat, and change stuff around a little bit. We'll come back when this cools down. Okay. You'll see that it's molded to it. Okay. Now what I can do is is heat it until this becomes clear and the, it'll actually fuse together. We'll do that just so you can see. Now if you do this two months and then you move it, you've made it molten, and you'll end up pouring, pouring the kydex off and make it a little hole. Do that. Basically you push that together. And when it cools, it'll make one piece. Just like, uh, like putty. And then when it dries, when it dries, because this is so thin, you could probably use scissors. And you just cut it how you want it, but you want to make sure that you leave, you know, a quarter inch or so off of the blade for it to be stuck together. Now, like I said, this is just a proof of concept just to kind of show you since we already made some. Even though this one turned out a lot better after making four or five of them, I wish I'd have used a bigger piece because uh, this one turned out to be a lot prettier. Because uh, I heated it up just once and then put it straight to the press, it came out a lot less wavy than some of the others. So, we've done milk jug. Let's do a dishwashing detergent container.